today, we're gonna turn this into this. Ha, stick around. So a few months ago, my wife, who I love dearly, in fact, more than the truck, believe it or not, of course, was backing into our tiny little garage and bumped into the back wall. Well, let's just say the brick wall won and the Rivian lost. And also, in case you don't remember, in her defense, we did have a pretty small garage. You might remember that from a previous video. Well, now we have this bigger garage. By the way, stay tuned for videos all about that. And I am happy to say that Rocky is back from the shop and the dent that was in the back is now repaired. Stuttgart Auto Body did the repair. Thank you so much for, to them and to Jack especially who coordinated the uh, whole project at Stuttgart. They did an amazing job. In fact, they even cleaned the vehicle almost as good as it was when it rolled off the lot. Even included the new car smell somehow. I don't know how, but thanks for that. I wanna talk about the insurance process and how that was handled. I wanna talk about the specific repairs and what was done. I even have some cool props for that. I wanna talk about the cost of everything. And I wanna talk about some of the concerns that we had along the way. So here we go. So our insurance is nationwide. That is the Rivian branded insurance that's actually covered through the company nationwide. They did a very good job. They didn't dispute any of the coverage, uh, covered items. Uh, and I've heard that other companies, I won't name them, uh, have disputed some. So I'm actually really happy with nationwide and the amount that they covered here. They covered everything except for, of course, the $500 deductible on this policy. We have a pretty comprehensive policy. It costs about $250 per month to cover this vehicle. We have two Rivians, so that's a lot of insurance when you combine them together. But overall, in a, in a year, this particular vehicle costs about $3,000 a month, or $3,000 per year to cover. So uh, overall, <laughs> we're in good place because this repair costs a lot more than $3,000, of course, and I'm not sure what's gonna happen with the insurance premium. Stay tuned for, you know, for any information on that. Uh, but of course, your mileage may vary. I don't know what your insurance policies uh, is like or your company is like. You can do a lot of tweaks. And one of the things that I would recommend is look into your insurance policy and look into the details as far as what's covered in addition to the damage. We have some paint protection film or had some paint protection film on these panels which had to be removed. Now, it's not that cheap to replace them and luckily, Nationwide says they will cover up to $3,000 of the repair or of the re replacement of those PPF panels. However, if we had to remove and replace the whole vehicle, say there was, you know, uh, hail damage or something like that all around, that might be more than $3,000, which is, uh, you know, something that would have to come out of your pocket. However, you can add a rider to your policy to make sure that those things are covered. When the truck came in, the dent was here on the back, of course. Now, when I first looked at this, I thought, oh, okay, this piece goes like this, and then it thins out up here. Little did I know, I had forgotten about this whole section. Now, this is all one big steel piece. So, uh, let me show you how that looks. Here we have <laughs> this whole section that's the front half of this piece. Now this is the uh, this is the original piece that Stuttgart purchased to uh, from Rivian, and Rivian sent them this whole steel panel. Well, of course they cut the piece off here and used only the back end to uh, fix uh, this particular part of the truck. But this, as you can see, I fished it out of the trash. Um, well, Stuttgart helped me, <laughs> but this, as you can see, um, is this whole piece that continues all the way up front and all the way down here. All right, so let me show you the piece that was removed. Uh, Jack at Sukar was a little surprised that I wanted to keep this, but <laughs> this is the piece that was the original piece from the truck. You can see the dent here in the back where it was dented. Now it was it was, uh, this piece was replaced and cut right over here. Pull around here, this side. This piece was cut right there where the original piece remains. And this is the new piece. Now what they had to do, of course, 
because the piece, as you can see, comes in, its, in, in this black color. Uh, it's a primer color. They, of course, had to paint this piece and paint this piece so that you couldn't tell if there was a slight difference in the color. And then for this door, they had to blend it in toward the front of the door. So somewhere in here um, is the original paint and somewhere in here is the new paint. And um, all this is, is all new paint. Um, and this piece up here as well. Now let's talk about the cost of this particular repair. As I mentioned, we have nationwide insurance, so they covered the entire cost of the repair, except for the $500 deductible, which I paid out of pocket. Once Stuttgart got the vehicle, they listed out all of the things that they did to the particular vehicle, and there were tons of little pages, little things, five pages worth of things here, and the total came out to $13,969 and 27 cents. There was a change order of about $1,400, $1,500 or something. So let's call it just over $15,000 for the total repair. That's a lot of money. But you know, as I was told, um, and I've talked to several people about this, that is a lot of money. But on the other hand, there are a lot of other vehicles where this would cost a very similar amount and sometimes quite a bit more. So lastly, I just wanna talk about some of the concerns that we had going through this process. First of all, I do have to say Stuttgart and Nationwide were very good to work with. They did a very good job, very professional. So I'm very happy about that. But there were some things that came up. First of all, Stuttgart, I had to pay Stuttgart out of my money and Nationwide reimbursed me directly. Now that's okay, except for nobody loves to have $15,000 moving around through their bank's account, bank accounts. There's just a little bit of risk there. I would like to see a system where Nationwide pays the shop directly and I pay them the deductible. So that's one issue. Another issue is just generally the cost of repairs and the complexity of repairs. It's a very hard thing to do, as they pointed out. Um, the steel is one thing and then there's aluminum and all these different types of metals and different parts and stuff. It's really complicated. So that's one of the reasons that these repairs are so expensive. But the biggest concern of the whole process was just simply the time it took to get into the repair shop and for the repair itself. So it took several months just to get an appointment and it took several weeks to actually get the repair. And that's not anyone in particular's fault. It's just that the system isn't quite very well developed yet. There's not enough people in the Denver area and I don't know what it would be like wherever you live or in other small places where they don't have uh, certified Rivian repair shops that could make things a lot more difficult where you have to take your vehicle a long ways away and wait a long time to get on a, lo on a long list so that is a big concern that needs to be improved I think it will will be improved over time but for now it's kind of a pretty big pain point but overall I'm very happy that I was able to get Rocky back in a beautiful in its beautiful condition really excited to go out and drive some more um, and really worried about putting any more dents into the side of it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful. Please leave me some, leave me some comments and let me know maybe some of your concerns or some of the experiences that you've had uh, through any kind of body work repair. And we'll see you in the next one.